good morning everybody welcome back it is a very oh a very gray monday today i oh my god i feel like i'm about to have sun cream rolling into my eye yep double sun cream <laughs> blending needed i cannot do this one-handed um i have spent the morning editing uh the last vlog that you will have seen i have so many deadlines to get done before my course starts tomorrow like things have been a little bit i think i mentioned it in the last vlog and i feel like i always sound like i'm making so much more of a a meal out of things than maybe they actually are but i actually on this occasion am not like i have so many deadlines that have to be done before the course starts like just when you're self-employed sometimes jobs are like buses and they all just come along at once if you know that good old saying unfortunately this is definitely one of those occasions and I purposely booked this course because April is notoriously dead for me. Like every year on record, April is so quiet. Not this year, not the one year I actually booked something in. So it's been an interesting uh, month so far to say the least. Actually, I'm not gonna put that on yet, I wanna leave. I feel like you should leave your SPF to like set for a second before you put stuff on over it. So I'm gonna do something different. I'm actually just putting on a tiny bit of makeup because I am going to the gym and that sounds a bit mad but I always do this because um, I always get a DM that's like oh I saw you and I'm like oh great I look like a potato so it just makes me feel a little bit better this is actually going to be the first time that I've been to the gym since my gardening vlog so it's been a while and that is because my schedule has just been a bit nuts haven't managed to do an at-home workout i have just been editing non-stop and i am very grateful for being so busy i love being busy and i love my job but yeah you know when you just weren't expecting uh lots of things to happen all at once and it can be slightly overwhelming like i purposely did my depop sale at the end of march because Number one, love the end of the month. It's near payday, everyone loves that. But also, I was like, yeah, April, I'll have time to be a little, you know, post girl. But no, I have just made my life so much more complicated. But yeah, grateful, but mentally overwhelmed. By the way, if you can hear someone talking, Ryan is on the PlayStation. But I'm excited for it to finally be this week so it can just finally be started and it's no longer like looming over me um, i'm so happy about that i'm just so happy to finally be cracking on with things and i really want to check off my to-do list nice and early today so i can spend this afternoon prepping for tomorrow i want to work out my train times i want to try on some outfits uh so yeah hopefully i get the chance to do those things in like a nice calm way but until then i need to go to the gym because this is going to be one of the only days this week that i am actually going to be able to go and like i said i haven't been in a while but i also need to get food because the shops were shut yesterday because it was easter sunday so i need desperately to go and get some food because we have none so i'm gonna do both and be nice and productive trying my very best to avoid getting a takeaway okay we are done let's go to the gym let's go get food mm, what do i want to eat tonight that was a good little walk we just had i'm feeling very good after that i meant to take you into the shop with me and do a little like come pick food with me but um yeah didn't happen every time i go does anyone else have this you go into like food shop mode and the blinkers are on like a parade of cartwheeling giraffes could actually go past me whilst i am in the supermarket doing a food shop and i would not have a clue so once again for like the 50th time uh in the last year i have forgotten to just get some snippets of me picking up the food but anyway we move um one thing i did want to say at the start of this vlog is i am so sorry if things get a bit rambly at points i have this kind of weird content anxiety this week because in my brain obviously i have been doing this this youtube thing this vlogging thing for such a long time that my brain goes into like a certain mode when i vlog and it's almost like if i 
if you could visually see a story you know like sometimes when you see like funny things on the tv and it's like someone doing maths and the maths is like appearing here mine would be like a storyboard appearing here and that storyboard is essentially the vlog like when i'm thinking about vlogging today and vlogging my day there are like I can see a storyboard and I can see scenes and I can see what clips are going to look like and that is not really working this week like that's not happening because I actually don't know I'm going into an unfamiliar situation and I don't know what that is going to look like like when I go on press trips I generally know what the hotel will look like I have an itinerary so I know I can roughly tell you especially I sorry I've got hair on my lip um I've been doing press trips for a long time so even stuff like even traveling I don't get weird about it because I generally know how it's going to play out in my head but for once I am going into a very unfamiliar situation and I genuinely like I have so much anxiety because I don't know whether we're going to have five minutes of footage by the end of the week or we're going to have three hours. I mean I don't think we're going to have three hours. But yeah, so I have a certain amount of anxiety and when I am anxious, I tend to waffle. I also tend to feel stressed about things that aren't actually stressful, uh, which basically let that explain me for the past like three vlogs. So that's where I'm at. This is my post gym rational brain having a conversation with you and just filling you in on where I'm at. But yeah, I am feeling much better post gym but also the sun is like trying to come out and it's not torrentially raining anymore love a little bit of sun also can i just say i went into the shop and i went into the gym just with like my hoodie like basically falling off my shoulders and i was not cold so this i am very happy this time of year i don't have to wear a coat never happier than when i don't have to wear a coat like i love a coat in theory but like practically I hate coats. I like them for about five seconds in October when it's a novelty and by April I am over it, fully over it. Anyway, see, waffling. So, let's go! organizing my bag for tomorrow and then just kind of pulling together some outfit options as well dress code is like comfy doesn't need to be smart but yeah that is the kind of vibe i'm thinking of going for just like comfy but looks nice and then i'm taking this bag which is an old one from mango i just didn't want to go for anything too wild and in here we have got my headphones these are the ultimate like don't talk to me on public transport uh, essential for me. My diary, which is heavy, but I just feel like I want to have it with me just in case anyone needs me to do anything. Like I just kind of like dump my whole to-do list in here in the notes sections of each day. So anything that comes in that I can't give my attention to whilst I'm on the course, I can just make a note of it. If I put things on my phone, I just forget where I've noted them. I've got a hair clip just in case I want my hair fully out my face, my multivitamins. I've got one pair of my glasses with me, which I need to uh, take at the end of the day to my opticians, which isn't too far from where the course is and have them repaired. Uh, there should also be a tiny, yeah, a tiny, tiny screw that came out. Um, so I'm gonna go get that sorted and hopefully they'll be able to fix that. Then I've got my prescription sunglasses and then I've got my actual glasses because I just feel like I'm gonna need them. Oh my god, that's where my gloves have been. Good to know. And then in the side pocket, I've just got my keys and my purse. So nothing crazy. There's gonna be stuff that I'll need, uh, but it's gonna be there when I get there. So yeah, that is what I am taking with me. They didn't say to bring anything else. So that is what's in my school bag. Lol, never did I ever think I'd be doing that on YouTube. probably wash for the poor people that are going to be seeing me tomorrow and now it is time to make some dinner
I'm running very, very late, so we're going to do a very quick outfit of the day and ignore the fact that my hair looks like Hermione Granger today. I honestly don't know what's happened. Anyway, I'm wearing a Skims long sleeve t-shirt, my Anina Bing leather trousers. There is a pig in the background. Love that. Sock boots, a Zara coat, and then this mango bag. Not my best work, but let's go. So typically, I am so early. The one time the trains actually run on time, um, I'm like half an hour early. So I thought I'd quickly tell you the course I am doing today is an nail course. So I have bare nails. This is why I was up really late last night. I was taking my gels off. And it took me so long to get ready this morning because I couldn't just like bash my hands into things. I had to be really like gentle. Um, I was also trying so hard not to wake Ryan up in the more. I tried to be quiet the more noise I made which was it was just a disaster but hopefully the getting up pre 6am thing will work out better for me tomorrow and I'll get the hang of this like over the next week uh, hopefully my hair goes better tomorrow as well because I think I did too many small sections I think that's what the issue is oh, the lovely sounds of Brighton um yeah whereas normally I do like whole big chunks and now it's gone a bit too like my real hair I'm super excited for today. I can't believe it's finally like the day. I feel like I've been talking about doing it for such a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my god, I'm actually freezing. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I look like a shiny mess. I got fully caught in the rain, which I did not see forecasted when I was on my way home. And the one thing that I did not pack into my giant Mary Poppins bag was an umbrella. So <laughs> my hair looks extra wild because it's like a mix now of my curls or waves, waves is the more appropriate word, but then also the waves that I put in this morning. Oh, it's just, it's a lot. It is a lot. But uh, I had a really good day, day one of my course. Look at my hands. <laughs> We are doing takeoff tomorrow, so <laughs> I will be like this until then. I really like this red though. This is, it's the gel bottle. I will find out the name because I have it. It's in my kit, which I don't have on me because we're keeping them on site uh, until the course ends. It's actually a really nice red. When I did one coat, I was like, mm, not sold, but I really like it. So yeah, we learned how to do just like a one polish today and then French as well. And I have a couple of different Frenches on. Um, we were all doing things on each other. I feel like it's definitely one of those situations where like it's good to know the technique, but like I can't wait to just get like doing so many different nails on so many different people so that um, I can just kind of really like perfect my technique and learn to do it on lots of different fingernails and fingernail sizes i feel like it's like when you learn to drive most of your learning is actually done like once you're out on the road on your own that kind of vibe but yeah it was a really good day we started off by doing uh kind of like health and safety like the more sciencey aspects in the morning um which i really really enjoyed because um i find the process of like gel mani is quite interesting anyway and there were a lot of things that I'd actually been wanting to learn more about and have been like researching myself but it was really good to learn like properly and just be given like the actual info versus like trying to figure it out through google searches but not really knowing what I needed to like actually be searching so I found that really helpful. I'm really excited to call my mum though and ask her if she'll let me do her nails because I feel like she'll be quite good to uh, practice on. But I actually have a little bit of homework to do tonight, just like the last little bit of health and safety stuff. So I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'm going to do that. I've picked out my outfit for tomorrow and I must try and remember to pop an umbrella into my bag because I feel like the weather's going to catch me out again and it's going to be pretty much the same as today. And then I'm going to get into bed because I feel so tired. You know when you, I feel like I've, I'm always tired, aren't I? But um, you know when you have just been in a very different environment to what you would usually be in and your brain is kind of a little bit overwhelmed and you just need to like sleep and process it all. That is how 
I'm feeling right now. So once I've done my homework, I'm just going to get into bed and then I have another nice little 6 a.m. start tomorrow. Tomorrow we are doing biab training, which I am really looking forward to. I'm just yeah, really excited about this week and this course in general. Um, I actually didn't know courses like this existed. I was going to apply for a different kind of course and it was less intense but over a longer period of time. But actually this course, um, it's a course with the gel bottle if you haven't already seen from the clips. Um, but it worked out so much better for me in terms of being able to um, kind of take the time out alongside work. The other one was also fine, but I was a bit worried that it was going to run into um, retail season at the end of the year and then things were going to get a little bit tricky. So I picked April because it's generally very dead and sod's law, it's been my busiest April that I have ever had throughout my career, but I can't complain, but it's just kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, my nail lady actually told me about it because I've been talking to her about doing this for what feels like forever now. And yeah, she told me about this course and I'm so pleased that she did because it has worked out so perfectly. Okay, so is my skincare done? I'm going to hop in the shower quick and I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going to try and vlog a little bit more tomorrow. I was not planning on really vlogging anything at all i was just going to be super like if i could get something on my phone then great but i wasn't really planning on being able to get that much content um i didn't really want to just like whip out my vlogging camera and be like all influencer uh, because no one knew i'm not doing this like in collaboration with the gel bottle at all i didn't say anything about it but i was spotted in the building so everybody knows that uh so i don't feel as weird about being me tomorrow um not to say that i'm gonna get the camera out fully but like i might sneak some things you know so um yeah looking forward to bringing you along tomorrow for day two <laughs> biab and then i can't remember if we're doing build a gel as well or if that's tomorrow with extensions i had a good night's sleep although much harder to get up this morning than yesterday morning for some reason i just really wanted to stay in bed i have given up on doing my hair already uh it's day two and i'm already like no can't be bothered with this doing my hair uh on a time crunch kind of thing um especially when i just end up like clipping it up halfway through the day anyway or being rained on to be honest the wavy hairstyle really holds up against the rain uh because my hair is actually basically naturally like this so it doesn't look that different but when I'm like working on someone's hands, I need to have my hair back. Um, so I need to like work on some really good like updos basically. But I also skipped it this morning because I didn't get a chance to vlog yesterday morning and I was so sad about that. So we're switching out doing my hair for a chance to chat with you guys. But anyway, I had a good night's sleep and I am really looking forward to today. I feel like I'm going into it feeling a little bit more like confident i was so nervous yesterday and i feel like because of my job once everyone realized what it was uh, uh there was like an added pressure for me to like be perfect and it was just making me extra nervous so <laughs> that's really not ideal nerves are not ideal when you're like trying to have a steady hand but i feel really like motivated to go in there and smash today and yeah just do a really good job on the biab i mean yesterday's i was looking back at the photos and yesterday's work Good, but I'm like I really want to I want them to be perfect and this is where it's both like a strength and a weakness of mine is I want it to be perfect so I do do a good job at things but and I also really put a lot of pressure on myself for things to be perfect so hopefully we're gonna find a balance with that today so outfit of the day we've got my Anina Bing white shirt Adenola black leggings, All Saints boots, which are gonna be amazing for when I get caught in the rain today. Yesterday's sock boots were not. My Etsy earrings, Victoria Edge of Ember necklace, 
Um, and then I've got Monica Vinida rings on this hand and then uh, the same Monica Vinida ring on my middle finger on this hand and then a Raimi ring and a little, excuse the bin men are here, uh, Raimi local eclectic. And my lips is a combo of Vive Brat lip liner and NARS All Yours matte liquid lip and I am obsessed with that combo. And then my jacket is gonna be this one from Zara and my bag is my giant black tote from Mango. I think I got it last year. If you can find it on Depop, I would definitely recommend. It's such a great bag. It fits all of my crap in it. So new additions to my school bag today include my favorite notebook because the notes sections in these are not big enough for my giant ass handwriting. Um, I've got my notes which I was reading over last night and then I have some homework to do and then I've got pens because I love pens. A light in case I do a decent job at the buyer and want to get a photo and then I've also got a few rings that I want to take with me as well in case I want to get a good photo. So yeah that's it. Let's pack this all up and go. good day today I was really pleased with everything I did um, I was so nervous after yesterday I felt really shaky like yesterday I was just shaky and nervous and I feel like in my head like I keep referring back to the image that don't lick me um, I keep referring back to like my image of the work I did yesterday because in my head it's so much worse <laughs> <laughs> it actually it was actually fine but in my head it's like terrible just because i was so nervous but today i even i literally got out of bed being like yeah i am ready for today we're doing biab i'm gonna smash this like just i have biab myself so obviously i have gel myself so i don't know why i wasn't feeling confident i guess just first day nerves but i know the biab process like i kind of had that moment where i was like there's nothing about this that you don't know because like, when it comes to nails I know the process, I can do this. And yeah, it was great. It was great. And I was really happy with everything that I did. My polish was just so, I was so much more confident with it today. So mega, mega happy. Yeah, just, it was such a nice day. I felt so good. I literally, I think I even got out of bed being like, okay, yesterday was like a test run. Today, you're gonna be good at this. Like you got this, like, and I, I just felt so much more confident now that I got like the feel of like doing it on other people. But I need to do some work now because um, I have had a few more bits that have come in whilst I've literally been in my classes. So I need to like go back, I need to come back into online stuff and just do that and then make some dinner. Cuddle the little shrimp. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I have to say there's a massive difference in how I feel towards my phone after not being on it all day. I love not needing to be on my phone and I can actually like reply to people's WhatsApps because I don't look at my phone and just, I don't know, there's something about like working in social media, like it makes you never want to look at a screen again. It's so nice to actually look at a screen like when I'm on the train home and be like, ah, yes, reply to my messages and I don't feel overwhelmed. Anyway, we're gonna make some dinner, do some work. I look an absolute state. I've been fully rained on several times today. I don't look great, but no one cares. Everyone's happy with their nails and that's what counts. This is my favorite drink at the moment. I actually, I say at the moment, I've loved this for years. It's the, how do you say this, Belvoir? Sparkling Elderflower and Rose Cordial. So good. It's really nice with sparkling water, soda water, tonic water, whatever your favorite water is. 
um, in the concentrated version, but they do this version and it's just so nice like on its own. I have gone for a very large glass of this. And what I like to do is use frozen fruit instead of ice because it just gives like, I don't know, it makes the drink more fun, but it makes it very cold, which I love. And it tastes a little bit more fruity, I would say as well. I also love to put um, a little bit of frozen lemon in this as well, but I used all of my frozen lemon yesterday, very sad. But it gives it a really lovely, fresh taste. But yeah, it's my little non-alcoholic bev of the evening because uh, I'm going to be good because I'm going out for some margaritas tomorrow after my course finishes, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's make some pasta. Ryan's working late, so Muggins over here has been lumbered with the dinner. Uh, which wasn't in the agreement for this week, but we move. garlic bread slices. Ah, rouge. No. Stop that. Thank you. Not you. Sorry. Nala thinks I'm not, I'm not shouting at you. I'm sorry. That's not you. Sorry. These garlic bread slices. Love them. Love so much. And then still obsessed with this candle. It's the beauty pie. Hot chocolate. Mint hot chocolate candle incredible like my whole house smells like a mint hot chocolate right now so festive but not at the same time but just delicious mm. i love it so those are two things that i am very passionate about in life at the moment anyway can we also just take a moment susie who does nails all day and susie that sits and looks at a laptop all day two different people Two very different people. I have had my personality back. <laughs> like a very good dinner but tastes it's good. gonna taste great good morning at the risk of being very late for my train for my last day i thought i'd show you my outfit i'm wearing an oversized white shirt from zara the sun is actually out today and it's like great but ruining my life because i look like this if i stand too far to the side so if i'm being weird that's why mango bag adenola leggings all saints boots kitchen's a mess so i'm trying not to show you the entire kitchen why sell sunnies <laughs> Three days later. Oh my god, you guys! This is the most exciting thing. Good morning. Hi, by the way. Why am I washing capsules in shop? Um, this is the most exciting thing I've bought in a really long time. Excuse me, I've just come back from the gym and I'm really glad that smell of vision is not a thing. This time of year is an elite time of year. No coat weather is just, it is an elite part of life. I am never happier than when I don't have to wear a coat. Is it warm? No. Will I catch hypothermia if I don't wear a coat? Also no. Happy girl. Just got back from the gym and Ryan was like, there's a huge 
huge box for you and I know exactly what it was. So being the eager beaver that I am, as soon as the gel bottle approved my certificates, I was straight on the website and I have placed my first gel polish order. I got all the kit as part of the course with them. You can like do a little upgrade and you get like a starter kit. But I already have my faves. Like I am already a gel bottle girl because that's what Ellie uses in her salon. It's why one of the one of the reasons I think I think I've talked about this. One of the reasons why I decided that I wanted to do the course with them. Um, but not the only reason. I just already know I love the products. I know which ones I like. I bought a bulk bundle of lots of the neutral nude Frenchy colors. My battery's flashing at me, so we need to make this very quick. And I also need to leave for London in about 15 minutes, and I still need to shower. So we're gonna make this quick. <gasps> Oyster, that looks like a good shape. Oh my God, I am. I'm so excited. Where is gloss? That is the one I'm really, oh, Muse looks nice. And um, there's one shade that I'm really excited about called gloss. Might be this one. Yeah, it's like a sheer pink. Over a clear tip would be so nice. So excited about those. I've also done a very big uh, order for some other bits as well. Uh, like tool related and storage and stuff like that. So I'll show you that when it arrives oh my god oh my god so i think this is part of the tortoise shell kit i got a blooming gel so basically it's like if you drop a bit of color it'll go like a watercolor stunning um i've got tortoise shell bits cookie looks like such a cute shade i have people that i know i want to do their nails and like people in mind so i've tried to pick some shades that i would like love to do on them but yeah i really want to practice the tortoiseshell nails which i'm going to be practicing on myself because i don't think i could ask any of my friends to walk around with like a first practice version of those on themselves oh my god that looks insane i've got this really cool top coat so it's like green speckles uh and then i think the rest of what's in here is like biab. I'm so excited these have arrived today because I'm doing my mum's nails tomorrow for the first time and she's gonna be my like my guinea pig. I just am like the most excited. This is number 19. This is my favourite out of everything. We've got Dolly which is another favourite of mine which you will have seen me. I had this on my nails all last summer when I had my like I had like these lines but in different colours. I got that in biab. I also think there is like an equivalent in gel anyway now chat aside we're actually staying overnight in london tonight so i'm taking the bare minimum this isn't like a this is a me and ryan chilling kind of thing i'm barely taking anything i'm literally just taking something to wear something to swim in and then like my beauty products and i'm gonna give myself some tlc whilst ryan is at his show i did a little boots haul <laughs> i bought way more than i planned on buying because ryan needed some hair stuff chuck that there and um yeah i ended up just grabbing loads of stuff whilst i was in there so i got a new tangle teaser because i liked the color and then i also am out of teeth whitening strips so i picked these up from spotlight oral care so i'm going to take some up with me because i actually haven't whitened my teeth in well over six months i would say so i'm going to give those a go um i also got some more shampoo i was running out got these ones from Function of Beauty and they're for like wavy hair specifically and I thought that was cool especially with me wearing my hair more uh the way it is now I thought these could be quite good and then I also got my toothbrush heads because I'm desperately in need of more toothbrush heads yeah that is my little boots haul this weekend the bad news is that we were meant to be in Paris and we weren't actually able to make it work. We were gonna go to Paris and stay overnight, see Alana, cause she has a layover basically for a night in Paris. I was like, yep, yeah, stars are aligning. We're gonna get to see each other. And no, 
Brian had work come in and then her flight was also landing later than it, I think it was originally meant to. So basically we would have seen each other for an hour, which is not ideal. So the bad news is I am not spending the weekend in Paris with Alana and I'm actually heartbroken about it. But the good news is that I am capitalizing off of the fact that Ryan needs to be in London tonight. And I was like, I'm gonna book a spa night. I'm going to book a spa night. So he's gonna spend my spa night with me and then he's gonna go to work. Poor thing. But kind of good, because he still gets to enjoy the spa night. He just has to stay up until like five in the morning. So I'll see him when I wake up, basically. Um, he'll be coming in as I get up tomorrow morning. Our life is weird, but anyway. So yeah, we are doing a spa evening, afternoon at the Londoner, giving the Londoner a second chance because its spa really does look quite delicious but i need to get in the shower now get ready because i am disgusting um and i will see you when we get to london we have made it to the londoner and we have a spa reservation at six o'clock and i am so looking forward to it we got here a little bit later uh than we would have liked because the trains are just super messed up at the moment but Better late than never, and I am so excited to check out the spa here. I've heard good things, so I'm gonna go down and have a little look and have a little relax. I can't wait. This one looks good. Probiome melt. Kimchi and avocado whole grain melt with vegan cheese, tomato and green pesto. Nice. No, I think it sounds good. What? McDonald's over the road. Like you would, like, like you'd actually hurt Shrimpy. Oh, I feel. I got loads of compliments on that shirt. Did you? Do we have a lot to get done today? I haven't edited this video at all. I think it's meant to be uploaded tomorrow. So that's good. I literally have no idea how much footage we've got. We could have 15 minutes, we could have 50. I genuinely have no clue. And it's giving me severe anxiety because I don't know what uh, is in store for me in terms of workload. Um, so I need to figure that out ASAP and then I desperately need to prep for my trip later this week i'm going to liverpool which i am another level of excited for still need to book my tickets can't bring myself to do it because i didn't realize how expensive uh, a train ticket from the south to the north is uh, i've never got the train up to liverpool so uh, it was a bit of a shock when i first kind of looked at rough prices especially if you're disorganized like me and you think an anytime ticket is a good idea spoiler it's not so i need to prep for that but i also need to get the office cleared because it actually looks like a bomb has hit it and when i do uh nails like privately i would really like to use my office for 
that rather than my friend who came over on Friday. She sat on my living room floor and it's not comfortable. It's LVT. There's nothing squishy about it. Luckily we have that giant Zara home pillow, the ridiculous one that I bought a couple of years ago. It's coming in very handy for sitting on the floor. Desperately need to get that sorted because Lauren's coming over later and I'm going to um, just chop up her nails for her. Where is my concealer? Hello? Honestly, this foundation, it is another level of unreal. I'm obsessed with it. So we have a busy day and I also need to prep for all of my other projects that need to get done before I go to Liverpool. So we've got a lot to work through, but it's gonna be fine. I started off my day by going to the gym, which made me feel very productive. Already got all the food sorted for the week and done some messages and emails and things like that. So great start to the day. And I'm really excited because my Zara home order that I made for all of my like nail studio office stuff uh is going it's actually not it's not gonna be that massive of an order but it's gonna the boxes are going to be huge um and i found out that is arriving today which is perfect so yeah lauren's not gonna have to sit on the floor which is great seriously the merit bronzer this has me very comfortable with leaving the house with like minimal makeup on when i went to the gym this morning i literally put on my spf and put on my bronzer and brows and I felt like good to go and like nice and made up even though I had barely anything on my skin. It is also the most stunning sunny day today which makes me so happy. I had a little inspect of the garden earlier and things are really starting to come out. The hydrangeas are starting to bud, like no hydrangeas obviously, but like I can see the flowers starting which just makes me so happy because hydrangeas are my absolute fave and I'm hoping that I will actually get some this year because we had such a bad cold snap. I think it was last May that mine all died off. So I'm really hoping for some beautiful blooms this year using the Beauty Pie Mascara. I used this all weekend and I really enjoyed it. It just gives like really full lashes so quickly. And this is the kind of lash I want when my outfit is gonna be very very cash there's nothing i love more than wearing like a super casual really dressed down all black outfit and then having like a little bit of liner and then a really like full lash i think it makes such a nice contrast all about that balance i love a good outfit to make up balance popping on a little bit of the beauty pie cream blush this is a very good dupe for the clay de po blushes although a little bit more pigmented i would say stunning though i'm going to try a little bit of this victoria beckham highlighter it just looks unreal Ooh. oh my god that is so nice stunning it smells unreal it's the beauty pie velvet matte lip crayon in the shade rummy pink so nice smells like i want to eat it and then we're going to finish off with a tiny bit of nars all yours i just love the blend of these two together kind of tempted to put on a gloss just a little bit okay done Oh my god, the fun things have arrived. I'm so excited. But one thing I'm not excited for is dealing with this. This is what happens when my schedule gets busy and I am a one woman show. It's absolute carnage. I haven't worked in here since like February. Needless to say, we are going to be tackling that this afternoon. So it's a little while later, but I actually realized that I have four hours of footage from this week. So no time lapse today. However, we are getting somewhere, it might not look like it, but we are. In the meantime though, I thought I'd show you my Zara home haul, because we are losing daylight, but this is the chair that I've picked up. I am so in love with it. I just really love this light woody tone, if you've got white walls and wood flooring. Mm, delicious. And then we also have the bits that I picked up in here. So we have these beautiful beige 
hand towels. I'm so happy with these. They're even better than I thought they were going to be in terms of colour. Everything is going to look like very weird on this cam on camera right now because everything is the same colour um, in this shot. Like it's even the chair, like everything is the same tone right now. So um, you'll see the colour of these better when uh, I get them into the office. So I picked up four of those so that I can change them in between people. And I also then got another set. So I have eight in total. And again, these are a waffle texture, but they are a little bit lighter in their colour, but they have this really cool black thread running through them. And yeah, I just love them. And I couldn't decide which ones to get. So I thought I'd just get both. And alternate them. I just had to get everything out of the boxes because I needed both hands but this is what I picked up in terms of little storagey bits. I think I could do with maybe some smaller tubs because this is actually a little bit larger than I thought it was going to be and I would like a pot maybe similar to this um but that's just for like cotton pads so like cotton pad size but actually this is quite good because I could do cotton pads and then some other things as well but it's like a mother of pearl style pot but yeah it's really really pretty but definitely lighter than I thought it was going to be this however is so heavy and so stunning um so I got this as a little tray to keep stuff out on and I also got this which won't go on here this is the quality of this is unreal like this is actual stone I didn't think they made stuff like this anymore so this is what set my expectations quite high for this little uh what do you call these I want to call them a tub but that's not right this little storage box um this is so heavy it's like real stone but I thought it would be amazing I put a bit of lining in it and then I could keep lots of my like nail equipment all the little tools in here like I said line it so that they're not like scratching the stone or the stone's not like affecting them um but how gorgeous is that and I thought they'd just work really beautifully in the office and then I also <laughs> Couldn't resist picking up this. Ryan and I saw this recently. It came up as an ad for me because I am a marketer's dream. It's the Loewe Oregano candle. And the packaging of this is insane. I didn't expect this. Um, but it is so beautiful. It's like a gorgeous pearly white beige tone. I just love the ribbed container. I think it's so cool and it smells unreal like i can smell it right now it's so good um ridiculous i am aware but stunning i thought it would look amazing potentially on this or just in the office in general really bringing the gorgeous like luxury zen vibes to the space that i want to bring but anyway i am going to get back to tidying the office now and i will show you what all of this looks like in there styled up when I am done. <laughs> We are going to pretend that the mountain of beauty products is not there because there's nothing I can do about them today but this is how things are looking and I'm so so happy with this. This is yeah this makes me so happy this just looks like the perfect super zen chill environment um i do want to have a rejig of the shelves at some point because i don't know if they're like the most zen to look at when you're in the hot seat what do we think mm, i don't know i might get rid of the pop of orange but it's okay and then this is my view which is just gorgeous i absolutely love how this has turned out it's exactly how i envisioned it being and on my little beauty station i have the candle we've got some tom ford body oils which would be lovely to use in the summer especially if you're doing like a hand and arm massage type thing i um, have my hand sanitizer and my surface disinfectant we have the creme because why not? And then we also have a scrub underneath. This is the mirror water scrub, which is just unreal. Love both of those so much. And then I have all of these little empty candle 
jars really come in handy. I have my nail files and all of my tools, um, which I can then store in here. However, just for when I actually am doing nails, it's so much easier if I'm just like, have a place to drop them, but also pick them up from. Um, more hand sand. And then I have the polishes, which I think I've preempted that I'm going to be using later. We have the gel bottle Biab in the shade Luna, which is stunning. I'll show you that in a sec. And then I've got a top coat, no need for a base coat with those two. And then I also have this from the gel bottle, which is so cool. Look. I love anything holographic. It's like my favorite thing. And then in here we have some cotton pads. These are actually clay de peau ones being really bougie for my best friend, so <laughs> she can enjoy those. It literally feels like clouds on your fingers. Anyway, this is the polish that I'm gonna be using. Can I do this one-handed? Huh. No. Lol at the fact that my nails are still like this, guys. This is what happens apparently when you start doing people's nails, you never have time to do your own. Proving very true so far. I will do mine at some point. I'm kind of leaving them to get in a real state around the cuticle so that I have good practice. This is what Luna looks like. I don't know if you can see, there's a really beautiful, very subtle shimmer to this. Hello, future me coming in. The lighting is very nice in my brother's house. I just wanted to drop in at the risk of this being the longest vlog in the world and say thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a very long one for me to edit and to film, to be fair. It's been a long vlog in all aspects, but I hope you enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed editing it like not the length of it but the actual content i really enjoyed editing back so i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed making it but yeah that is going to be it from me this location will make much more sense in a future vlog so make sure you come back for that one and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye